Hello my loves and welcome to what I believe to be the first kitchen vlog of 2024. Well it is isn't it, I haven't done one this year. Um, so I've got uh, <laughs> Jason's, we're both off work this week. Um, however it's been a really busy week. Um, we, we took the week off to do <clears throat> to actually have a rest and it's turned out that we haven't really had a rest at all because uh, we had a lot of stuff to do with the vegan queens last weekend this weekend just gone which you'll see it's, uh, today it's Thursday the what sorry got a bit close then didn't I uh, 29th of February oh it's a leap year day I'd forgotten about that so yeah uh, hi uh, loads to uh, talk about. Why do I do these kitchen vlogs? Well, I'll be really honest with you, I do them for me. They're kind of my diary, if you like. Um, and I do watch these back, uh, particularly my kitchen vlogs, to keep account of the things that maybe I've said I'm going to change and to make sure that I do do that. So, um, loads, like I said, loads to talk about. I'm going to go back uh, a little short while because this is something I, that I've really had to think about and own about myself and it took me a while to get to the point where I, I could actually say why it bothered me so much. So, I had this thing not so long back, particularly about being asked on other social media platforms why we were uh, leaving the allotment and I was just like we've it's been mentioned many times in our vlogs and then people said well we don't have time to watch vlogs and I was like right so it's just a idle curiosity then and I didn't particularly feel compelled to deal with it but here's the rub it's that there are certain things like um the aura for example which is the armed robbery that Jess and I were um, the victims of in uh, 2016 um, if you've never heard anything about that before there's a little vlog here uh, that we did with uh, Goji Man as part of his uh, documentary study him for us um, just in case you fancy having a look at that so there's that and now, because it's such a long story, it's the allotment as well, um, I, I'm, I find it far easier to say it than to type it. And I think that's because writing is a very personal thing for me, it always has been. Um, vlogging is a, is a form of spoken writing, <laughs> if you like. Um, Whereas, you know, at one time I, I did. Anyway, when it comes to things that have, that are emotionally heavy, I find it hard. Why I couldn't just quantify that and say that. I'm so, so I'm saying that now. Um, I think Isis wants to leave the kitchen. Don't let with the kitchen, darling. Then we go. So yeah, I've got the, um, I've got the um, kitchen door shut because Jason's in there playing uh, Assassin's Creed uh, Origins and I wanted to do this kitchen vlog so there's part one I've owned that I could have quantified and responded better but I am now explaining to you that I some things I find it much easier to say than write. Writing is a very personal thing for me and it comes from a very deep place and it goes through all the same emotional filters and the pathways that speaking does, but more so, much more so. So, so there's that. Um, now the whole, uh, I want to talk to you a little bit about um, YouTube in general because you might have seen that we've started to kind of 
pull some little uh, shorts together and things and and yes in some cases we're using some AI software that kind of you can put the link to one of your vlogs in it and it will break it down into several um, short worthy segments um, you know uh, we like to be very original on this channel and extremely down to earth but you got to play the game you got to play the game when it comes to algorithms and uh, having your content seen by more people because let's boil all of this down everything we do is about promoting down to earth veganism in some way shape or form and if that makes more people vegan that save more saves more animals job done therefore if we can we can urge you guys until we're blue in the face please don't forget to like please don't forget to subscribe please hit that notification bell share our content and bless you you know so many of you do um but it is so easy to forget that those things are crucial to youtubers that's how youtubers get bigger by people you know liking subscribing commenting sharing their content and unfortunately we are not um we're not shock and awe vloggers so i have great admiration for people that sit in the street at a table saying animal agriculture is wrong prove me is wrong prove me wrong or whatever great admiration for that i kind of question what it does because i think it alienates a lot of people in the streets who see it as confrontational and yeah you get the odd person that you can have a really good conversation with and it makes a great vlog watched mostly by vegans who were already vegan but then those vegans were oh love that like that subscribe and suddenly we've got all these people on pedestals um, because they do things like that I just want to show you how to make easy vegan food and uh, keep you abreast of what's going on in the supermarkets and what's available to you which I think is a more approachable and accessible form of activism but that's just me but because we don't do shock and awe, because we don't have a huge amount of funds to to buy 30 ingredients, 30 products that we can taste test, because that would just be a waste of money. And when people send them us, amazing, that's amazing. Um, but we just, we're just two working blocks who uh, would love to be more, um, <clears throat> prevalent more regular on youtube but we need to work and pay the bills and uh, so on and so forth um and it's been uh it's been a funny old start to the year because of course uh, leaving the allotment now if you don't know the story about that i'm not going to repeat it again because i said it at the very start of our final allotment block and i will link that up there too i made a point of going through the story um you, you, you can be done with it in a few minutes and it would be just the same as me telling you it's already done it's in a vlog so i'll point to the vlog so there's the allotment and then there's this other a huge part of our lives that we've run for 19 years since 2005 which is called performance plaza as some of you may know about it we did do a kind of re revisit vlog this is after lockdown and all of that uh, and I'll, if i can find it i'll link that up here should you fancy go and have a look but uh, the that vlog made it seem like there was still a chance for us to make an, a, another go of it and after so much thought and so much discussion about it uh, we concluded that we didn't have the time uh, or, or the energy to put back 
into that now. We did try, we did try after lockdown. Um, we tried to kind of uh, re rekindle it, but they just, I did, maybe we tried too soon, I don't know. But while we were trying, the uh, direct debit for, we, we were a completely funded operate, operation, by the way, we relied completely 100% on funding. And so always having to apply for funding and such because we were a not-for-profit organisation. We never made any money from it, never one penny. Uh, well, we went out for a meal uh, when we used to have like three or four volunteers. We'd go out for a meal once a year and uh, me and Jason would stump up half of that and just take half from Farmers Plaza. So it was never a profit thing, but we did it for 19 years and we're really proud of the work that we did. The, the, the number of people that have had guitar workshops with Jason, the number of people that have had drama workshops with me, the number of people that spent time with Deb doing arts and crafts. We can never forget that because it it, it, when you actually really think about it over 19 years it's thousands of people in our local area that accessed dirt cheap arts workshops arts based workshops um, and but it, it, it's come a time that when that's okay this is another thing that takes a lot of responsibility because it's still registered as a business, even though it's a non-profit. So you still have to do your accounts every year and everything. So that means paying an accountant and so on and so forth. And as I say, it just got to the point where we were, um, we felt like we'd done our, we'd done what we could with that. We'd, we'd just do what we could with it. And so we are, currently in the process of passing on anything that was ever donated to performance plaza will be donated elsewhere like we've got a lovely piano and i'd love that to go to like a residential care home or something somewhere it would get some use um however anything that was ever bought by performance plaza funding we are selling at obviously very low rates to put back into the bank account because the bank account is now empty to pay the final bits and pieces and to pay the accountant to shut down the company. And uh, so all of that has been going on. All of that has been going on. Um, well, we've had time off this week, I'd say it's Thursday now. So we've, you know, we've, this is our last kind of official day of holiday because Friday, Saturday and Sunday would, we would be off anyway and we're live on Sunday, uh, Sunday afternoon. Um, don't ask me what we're going to do yet because I've got absolutely no idea. Um, so what I was saying before, by the way, about us not being shocking or uh, vegan YouTubers um, or, or activists for that matter, um, I did this, I wrote a post on uh, Facebook um, not too long ago that about that same kind of thing about, and I've said it before in vlogs as well about watching what you click on because even I have a tendency to do it where I'm scrolling through and I'll see something shock and awe related or drama related or something and I'm, I'm there and then I'm like, why did I do that? Why did I? I do question myself quite a bit so I try to prevent myself from feeding into polarisation um, hate absolutely and yet many of us do because it's all become normalised to us and that massively concerns me about the world we live in now <coughs> and about let me have a drink of chai. About how polarised we are and how uh, hate has, has become so acceptable. Um, you know, there are people in the world I don't like, but I don't... I don't have to post about it or comment about it constantly. I don't wear a chuffy badge saying I hate them 
and I certainly don't want to be in any clubs or groups that their sole purpose is to hate them but I'm massively um, abridging there but you get what I'm saying um, and you know that you, there's how much stuff in the world can we really affect you know I can be upset and horrified every day about what Russia is doing in Ukraine and about what Israel is now doing in Gaza and has been doing but what can I do for it? I can talk about it I can share posts that I deem relevant like I've just shared, I've shared a post yesterday um, on uh, both my personal Facebook those vegan guys Facebook and um, the vegan queens Facebook basically saying um, uh, please watch very carefully what Keir Starmer and the Lev Hart are doing they are showing you who they are every day and the video that I linked was a video that I watched yesterday from Owen Jones who I happen to really like and who I have cross checked enough times to know that I don't have to you know like I've heard him say so and go really all right he did say that wow that kind of thing um, uh, yeah and it was a video uh, from um, a Jewish Labour MP who'd uh, had the whip taken from him because he voted for uh, Gaza ceasefire when ordered not to wow wow so um, a reel this morning actually from uh, a, a, a Jewish gentleman in New Jersey saying that uh, the the local synagogue in a couple of days time was about to have a real estate event which brought both local and international law uh, because uh, only Jews were allowed uh, therefore it's racist and because they were going to be uh, bidding on um, properties in settlements and settlements are illegal and there are 279 of them the size of um, large villages or small towns 279 of them uh, if you didn't know about settler activity by the way it's, uh, it's, it seems to be a whole kind of separate thing that's complete that's uh, encouraged and helped and um, not kept control of in uh, Israel and it's where Jewish settlers go into Palestinian properties move all the furniture outside and so this is ours now and then they build a town around it and that's happened 279 times <coughs> um, <coughs> so I'm pretty disgusted at the moment with uh, America for constantly vetoing UN resolutions against Israel for, and for keep arming them and giving them money and for my own country, the UK, for doing exactly the same for sweeping all this uh, under the carpet for um, refusing to talk about the uh, Islamophobia which is again rising massively in this country for uh, refusing to tackle effectively the anti-Semitism which is uh, rising massively in this country and refusing to acknowledge that most of that comes from a right-wing angry club of people that are being soothed and told you're okay to shout those things if you feel that way you can say what you want I think that goes for America as well actually 
so yeah there's a there's a a head full of stuff at the moment about the world in general and you know uh the the the, the vegan queens have really had to start uh, being out because we're getting offered things all over the place at the moment but a lot of the places we're being offered gigs they're like three hours drive away all well and good but when you consider that uh Stuart slash my husband now lives in Liverpool and we're in Oldham so we're an hour apart so there's that to contend with either my asthma getting here or us getting to pick my asthma up then two and a half three hours to wherever the the gig is in a car in drag then the gig then two and a half three hours back then an hour back home for us and I, we, we've kind of come to the conclusion that Jason does no more than a, like five hours driving max in a day and it, that would have to be worth it so we've had to start saying no sorry no because of course Stuart works full time as well the three of us do we, do, we all work in our different jobs uh, but we all work Um you know, it would be great if things were different and uh, YouTube and, and drag and for Jason music were our, were our things, but they're not. They don't pay our bills, they don't pay our rent, they don't. Our jobs do. Um, yeah, uh, speaking of jobs, the... the uh, the one of the main people that I support has just been uh, given um, a few months to live and so that is going to be shocking for the next couple of few months so you know um, actually met him yesterday <clears throat> yes I'm on annual leave yes I still met him because he found out on Tuesday and I knew he was devastated so met him yesterday and we had a brew and we had lunch and I was like look I'm going to get through this I'm going to make this time matter um, so yeah that's another uh, thing The publisher of my book seems to have gone quiet. I don't know whether it's because I got all the kind of paperwork in December and signed it all up and everything. And I don't know whether it's just because of the Christmas break. I was expecting, okay, let's start rolling on this. Well, you know, we're pretty much, it's March tomorrow. And I haven't heard anything from those. So I need to chase that up as well. That's another, another thing. Uh, that uh, that has to be done, added to the list of uh, you must do these immediately. Right. The uh, it's the things about to do the thing. Our camera does like twenty odd minutes and then a few minutes. Uh, so I'm going to stop it, and start it again, and finish off. So I'll swear there. I'll be like a second, literally. All right, I'm back for the closing ceremony. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we, it, it, this is not a, a, a like, <clears throat> our vlogging isn't going to go down. There will always be the minimum of two vlogs per week, which is the Tuesday meals vlog and our weekend live, be that Saturday, Friday or Sunday. That's the order it goes in every week. This week is Sunday. Um, the week after will be Saturday and then Friday. Saturday, Friday, Sunday. Saturday, Friday, Sunday. Sorry. Saturday, Friday. Yay. <laughs> you will have to. I don't know why. You know when something just happens and you're like, oh, okay. So it, that's the way it is now, is it? Well, yeah. Yeah. 
Saturday, Friday and Sunday. Um, so, as I say, this coming week will be Sunday afternoon, 3pm in the kitchen, uh, very possibly cooking something. And um, uh, there's a lot of editing to do over the next couple of days as well for the Vegan Queen's vlogs, which were made at the weekend, um, which you may, you were alluded to in our meals vlog uh, this week when you will have seen Jeb and I and my asthma out at Wagamama and Pizza Express and that's work with um, Viva Charity for their 50 by 25 campaign which if you didn't know is a campaign to uh, the, the restaurants can sign up to and agree to aim to make their menu 50% vegan by 2025. Wagamama have already signed up to it, which is why they were one of the venues. Pizza Express is one that Viva would love to sign up to it. And we had a lovely chat with the manager Jamie in Manchester. And you'll see all that on the Vegan Queen's channel and possibly on Viva's channel uh, in the coming weeks. Um, I personally, speaking weight wise and general health wise have not been great to myself of late and i will admit that i've used the excuse that i knew we were doing the taste testing for vegan food and living magazine and we're going to get a lot of products sent to us so we'll come out of christmas finish all the Christmas stuff in January, always kind of allow that, and then vegan food and living and all the taste testing stuff came out and the conclusion was this weekend with eating out two nights in a row, Wagamama and Pizza Express. Now I intend to get back to, we've still been doing, uh, I've been doing them every night, um, particularly this week's is holiday. Uh, but we're still doing our exercises, Jason and I, our sit-ups and our press-ups, most evenings. And when we get in the swing, uh, every evening except Wednesday night, that's our break night, because Jay teaches till late on a Wednesday. So that's the perfect opportunity to have a little break from it. But we're, we're still doing that. And now that this couple of month period after Christmas is over, I can start working back towards watching what I eat um, and uh, just trying to get a bit more healthy. Um, I also concluded that I do not enjoy eating uh, so three course meals which is what we pretty much did. Um, I do not enjoy eating in drag. Gemini does not enjoy eating Oh, she'll have a nibble or something if she's peckish, but she don't want to sit down and have three-course meal at a table. In everything. Concluded. <laughs> that has been concluded. Right, I'm going to get off. Uh, I'm going to get this uh, put together, edited, and whacked up. Um, like I said at the start, there are so many things going on in the world at the moment and it can be very difficult to not only deal with them but to know how to deal with them. And I think that the more we talk about things, um, for example, I'll get political for a moment. It, it, the, my, For many years, my only other option in the UK has been to vote for the Labour Party because they've always been the nearest the, the voting tactically has been wise I can honestly say hand on heart that I cannot vote for them as they currently are and uh, I will be voting green so there you go that's a political statement at the end of uh, this blog but that's how I'm going to besides the greens it, it's much more with my ethics anyway and uh, I just don't trust Labour anymore I don't trust them. I've hated their stance on uh, this whole um, Israel Hamas thing uh, throughout. And sometimes you just have to take a stand. So, 
I am doing. Right, um, I'll get off. <clears throat> Thank you for listening. Thank you for joining me on my first kitchen vlog of 2024. Now you've seen one, you know whether you want to see another one or not. You don't have to waste your time if you don't. Um, bugger knows where the next one will be, but trust me, I'll let you know. Uh, thank you for watching. Please like, please subscribe, please hit that notification bell. And if you think that anything said in this video might be interesting to someone you know, share it with them. And I will see you, or we will see you again very soon. Until then, please be excellent to yourselves and each other. Bye, loves.